progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving, and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot, now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime, a microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength, and their potential is limitless. The leadership of Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours that the Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay, just wait a second. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Well, we're definitely safe out here, because we'll never get in. We're in. Huh. Keep your head down. Wow, look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Gwen? Are you alright? Yeah, thanks, Dr. Smythe. Hey, you kids are in big trouble. What are you doing It's here? okay, it's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Uh, Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh, I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connors' work was over. How many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connors did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Huh. Another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit. But they lost in that argument. As of tonight, these cross-species disappear. We're shipping them to our biolab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees in the plague.
Well, I don't think he likes me. That's strange. It only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I have ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you will want to leave. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B Sector. No, I don't have time for this. Uh, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. Punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wonder. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. Uh, great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, Parker. It, is that... You gotta be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. <laughs> What? What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It matters. It's clearly reacting to something. Uh, I've never... Oh my god! It's breaking the glass! What the fuck you? Oh, I shouldn't have brought that up. I can help. Others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. 
Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But... but what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved. It mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. Thank <laughs> you.